I want to play the 911 call for you because I think the public should hear this. Uh, when I heard this, two hours after uh, it, was, it was made or recorded, I should say, um, it just didn't sound right to me, and I thought we had uh, something uh, unusual on our hands. So, uh, Linda, go ahead, please. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I'm calling about a domestic violence call. Hey, hello, there's someone breaking in my house. Help. What's the address you're at? Help. Cut the, the recording off right there because in the next second, you could hear five gunshots ring out in succession. Uh, by her own admission to the officers who arrived at the scene just a few minutes after this, uh, she discharged her weapon until she had, quote, no more bullets. Uh, now, her story was that uh, she had been running some errands and she was uh, going back out to her car to run some more errands, and uh, a silver car pulled up. A gentleman jumped out of the car and jumped in her front seat with a knife. Uh, she said there was a struggle that ensued. She was able to knock the knife out of this guy's hand. She jumped out of her car. She runs through her garage while he pursued her. And then she further said she was able to get inside the home, get inside her bedroom and barricade herself while the suspect followed her inside. Uh, that's what you heard right there. Um, we came to find out that that was a lie. Uh, that never happened that way. Now, it happened, but it was scripted. Uh, there were several things that came about uh, that really caused us, and when I say us, I mean them first and then us later as we reviewed uh, everything, to question immediately this story. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. 